to cut this tail light. It's pretty dirty right here. And I have to change the seal. The seal is pretty bad. It's leaking water into the trunk. We got uh, new seals. This is the part number, same for both sides. Original. It's the old seal. Pretty bad. And I'm gonna be cleaning all this area. Look at all this. Washington State. Took this out. I'm gonna clean it really well. Also, I'm checking for rust. Thank God there's, I don't see any rust on this side, which I'm really happy about. And then before installing that, I'll put a lot of grease here for preservation. And then obviously I gotta clean it, but then once I peeled, it's actually an issue with these W140s and most of the classic cars is that, you know, behind this uh, or under this seal, there's rust. So I started scraping some of this rust off and right over here as well. So everything will be getting fixed up and I'm about to clean all this area, make it nice and preserve it with grease. Everything here, guys, was cleaned up, and I just started greasing everything and putting fluid film everywhere as well, grease and fluid film, and then I'll reinstall this uh, lens as well as the tail light itself. It's gonna be awesome. Here's the tail light, and I have a new seal already installed, genuine Mercedes brand new seal. Now, before installation, I'll just put um, silicone paste on this seal so this seal can stay amazing forever. So I also sprayed a lot of fluid film on the inside to keep everything preserved. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm ready to reinstall this back. Brand new seal, and I put silicone paste on this seal to keep it preserved and I'm ready to install it started taking this side apart and uh, discovered some rust so I had to take out this uh, trunk lock assembly and I'm gonna be fixing this rust right here I already started scraping it and everything else looks good no rust it's just bubbling right here that was starting so I need to take care of that and I will treat it clean it to bare, uh, bare metal and then put primer paint and clear coat on top let it dry and then preserve everything with grease before installation so I'm in the middle of cleaning the rust off it's actually started spreading so I have to make sure I get all the rust off and I keep scraping it off more and more so there's a little bit of work that I have to do. But I need to stop this rust, protect it, treat it, and cover it with grease. So it's taking me a little while because um, it's just the surface is a little pitted, but I wanted to fix everything properly. So I'm waiting for the rust dissolver right now, and then I'm gonna keep scraping. This side is really nice, already all cleaned up to bare metal, ready to be painted. All right, guys, after cleaning everything, it took me a little while, over an hour, to scrape all this rust off. But as you can see, we have bare metal. It's really nice, ready to be painted. That's awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some primer on it and uh, about four coats of primer on each. Let it dry between the coats and then I'll proceed to the touch-up paint, which is green. I have green touch-up paint for it. I'll also clear coat on top later.
All right, guys, so the primer is dry and I'm gonna be getting ready to touch it up with my touch of paint for this car, which includes base coat and clear coat as well. So I'm gonna put probably three coats of base coat and then later three coats of clear coat. Just to make sure 100% that she's gonna be good forever. Okay guys, so I finished working on this area and honestly, I probably shouldn't have used the touch of paint um, because it makes it look a little, uh, I don't know. But anyways, I'm just really happy that I cleaned all this rust, stopped the rust and protected the area from rusting. And uh, right now everything, I put so many coats of primer, base coat and uh, the clear coat. Um, and after this, I'm gonna put a lot of grease here as well. And we're gonna start reinstalling everything, guys. Um, super happy. Now you guys make sure you check your area as well. And these parts like the rest because water likes to collect here as well. But I'm super happy I did this job, super important.